Mr. Boissonneau, who's Randy? Get ready, everybody. Make sure you take out your colors. Make sure you're ready to be proud of who you are, who you love. And don't forget, we also have toujours avoir une pancarte pour la fierté. Donc, soyez vous êtes, aimez qui vous aimez, soyez fier d'être Canadien et queer. I know that this government and I always have your backs. Joyeux saison de la fierté. Happy Pride season. With, with respect, Minister, I, I share MP Green's uh, uh, latter comments that your testimony has not been helpful. In, in fact, not only have you been disrespectful, you um, are exhibiting traits in my old career that I would classify as a lying witness. You've been evasive. That's not appropriate, Mr. Chair. Well, it is. That is not a, that's not parliamentary language. Everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, gang, what's up? Just Aaron right here, Canadian Looney. Guess what? I found Randy. And now, all of a sudden, Minister Bolsonaro has a lot to say. Let's check this out. Randy Bolsonaro is a joke. Let's take a look at this. It's a total laugh. It's a... It's a fun one to watch. Yeah, look, I'm happy to talk about the comments that were made in the House today. Clearly, the Conservative Party is the party that has real difficulty with queer people, 2S LGBTQ people in our rights. Look, I've dealt with this kind of discrimination and homophobic jokes my whole life. And, you know, when I came out, I had, I had friends who later said, look, we didn't know the effect this had on you growing up. And I think every Conservative MP needs to check themselves and realize that they've got queer people in their writings and that this is not a locker room from the 1980s. Times have changed, and it's really too bad that the Conservative Party hasn't. En France, je... je... An apology for it? Absolutely. Look, somebody's being a coward. Somebody's hiding behind Parlview. Somebody is making a comment um, that's homophobic, and then a bunch of other people are laughing, and they're getting caught up in the, in the audio, and now when they're caught out, they're being a coward. So which of the Conservative MPs is the coward today? Let's have them stand up. Did you hear who it was? I did not hear who it was. I, was, I wrote a, was writing out a card to a constituent, and by the time I looked up, I couldn't peg who it was. That's but, what hey, she look, said. It's not cool. Like, look, take us, you know, we can talk about a $9 million uh, condo in New York that's saving Canadians money, that's going to help us represent Canada in New York, but that's not the time to have a homophobic slur thrown at anybody, no, non, nonetheless the Prime Minister. I missed the beginning. Who said what? <laughs> I, well, I wish I knew. And what I said is there's a conservative coward out there hiding behind Parlview and the fact that we don't know who it is. And so if you're going to make a homophobic joke, come up to the microphone and say it so you can be tagged properly. That's what she said. I think what was said was, did you jump in the bathtub with him? Referring to uh, Tom Clark and the prime minister. So that's not cool. And so, like, this is the kind of locker room talk that belongs in the 1980s. I know because I was in those locker rooms. And I was the queer kid that had to hide and so that's like, whoever that MP is, they've got queer kids in their riding. And what they're hearing from their MP is that they don't belong. What I heard about a bathtub was, does he engage with them in the bathtub? And he well, was referring to diplomats engaging with foreign leaders because Mr. Polyev had just spoken about the copper bathtub. The fact that it was the prime minister in an exchange with uh, the leader of the opposition, it was very clearly directed at the prime minister and our consul general in New York. So, that's not cool, and I think people, look, if they want to come and clarify what they said in crosstalk in the House, come to the microphone and own up to it. Thanks, everyone. And Merci beaucoup. ended up withdrawing some of the comments he made in response. I guess I'm wondering, are you worried that the tone of Parliament is just spiraling down here? Well, look, the, the tone in Parliament is spiraled, uh, has been spiraling down for some time, and it's our job as parliamentarians to keep that up. That's look, what she said. Public slurs that get people's passions up do not help. And look, um, Aaron O'Toole lost his job because he had the guts to support an all uh, an, uh, unanimous consent motion on ending something as odious as conversion therapy, which had affected over 20,000 men in this country. And then his backbench deposed him within weeks. So that's the state of the Conservative Party in 2024, when they can get away with those kind of jokes, and when a leader decides to stick up for the community, they get their head chopped off. Merci. Everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey gang, so we're going to wrap it up right there. Randy Balsano is a total clown. Like, share, subscribe, get notified, all those fun things. For the live shows, we cover the daily broadcasts of the question periods. We do that live. It's fun. Come and check out our community. It's a fun chat room, all that stuff. You've got to see it to believe it. That's it. Aaron, Canadian Looney, thank you for watching this video. Randy Balsano is a joke. Wrote for now. Thanks for watching the video. Catch you next one.